Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Saki Tech Online. Now, in today's video, I want to talk about some fantastic Apple Pencil features that were added to iOS 11 specifically for the iPad Pro models. They have added some amazing features such as the instant markup and also the instant notes uh, features. So let's dive in and see all these great features in detail. All right, so the first feature is called instant markup. Instant markup allows you to instantly mark up a screenshot that you take off your iPad or uh, instantly mark up a PDF file that you may have saved on your iPad. First, let me show you how to do the screenshot. So as you know, if you want to take a screenshot on your iPad, you have to press the home button and power button at the same time, and that takes a screenshot. In my case, I'm just going to use the assistive touch to take a screenshot so I can demonstrate the instant markup feature. So let's say you took a screenshot, which I'm going to do right now. Now it's been taken. What happens is it gets minimized to the side, and then what you can do is you can tap that with your finger, and it's going to expand, and now you can take your Apple Pencil and you can start to mark this up as you please, and then you can save it if you desire. If you click done over here, uh, by the way, you can also resize the screenshot, so you can go like this or whatever, but the big thing is that you can use the Apple Pencil to add any kind of notes that you may have to on a screenshot, and as you know, you can take a screenshot anywhere. You can take a screenshot of a Maps application and then come back with the Apple Pencil and maybe guide your friend or, or somebody to a location you're trying to go. And of course, once you're done, you just click done and you can either save that to photos or you can delete the screenshot. Okay, so that's instant markup for a screenshot. So the next thing with the instant markup is that you can instantly mark up PDF files uh, without having to do anything extra. So let me launch a book in iBooks. It's already back there. Uh, this is a book I just downloaded from the internet. It's called 1984. And all I wanna do is start marking this up. I can all I have to do is grab my pen and start taking notes. And this is a PDF file. I can do this with any PDF file that I want. And then again, uh, if I go over here, for example, uh, let's say I don't want to just write with the pencil, but I want some more options. I can tap right over here. And then from here, I can pick the highlighter and I can start to highlight stuff uh, immediately. Okay. But the thing is, when you launch a PDF file, all you have to do is pick up the pencil and start writing. You don't have to press any buttons as long as you are in a PDF file. So that's the instant markup for screenshots and PDF files. Let's move on to the next tip. Now the next tip is pretty amazing. So basically, let's say you're busy and your iPad is maybe locked up and you do have your pencil with you, but you wanna take a quick note and just move on. You can now do that without having to unlock your iPad. All you do is tap on this power button and then grab your uh, Apple Pencil and tap on the screen and that's gonna bring up the notes application. From here, you can start taking notes. And uh, just so you understand, right now your iPad is actually locked. So if I try to go into the home screen, it's gonna ask me to put my password in. Okay, so this is just a way to quickly take notes and move on if you're busy. It's called the instant notes. Now there's a little bit more to instant notes than just doing this. For example, let's say I locked my iPad and I was moving around and I wanted to add more to my notes. Again, if I power this on and I tap the Apple Pencil on the screen, it goes back to the same note that I was using previously. Now this is this can be tweaked in the settings and let me show you how. So let's go back into the uh, settings over here. So the iPad has been unlocked. Go into the settings and all you want to do is scroll down uh, to where it says notes, go right inside and over here, let me see, it says resume to previous note. You can go in here, you can actually change the minutes before the note gets uh, you know, saved and a new one opens up, or you can just uh, do uh, never, or you can do always. If you wanna continue working on the same note as you move around in a facility perhaps, uh, you can keep it as always, or you can do never. Now, if I pick never, watch this. Let's uh, turn this off, turn it on, bring up the notes, let's write something down. Okay, so that's done, that's note number one. Now let me move on. Let's say I want to take another note, but a brand new note. I power this on. Again, if I tap here now, it's gonna create a brand new note. It's not gonna resume on the other note that I was working on, okay? Again, you go to settings, notes, 
and you can pick the either the time you can pick always all day or never okay so these are nice little things uh, you can tweak now I like to keep this option on as well it says only draw with Apple pencil that means your fingers will not be drawing anything only Apple pencil is gonna be allowed to write on the screen all right uh, let's move on to the next uh, Apple Pencil enhancement for the iPad Pro on iOS 11. All right, so let me launch the Notes application. I'm going to show you really quick uh, what we can do here. So let's go to Notes. And uh, basically, let me just pull up a note. Let's uh, pull a note that I made earlier right uh, here. It says, this is a handwritten note that I wrote using the Apple Pencil. So now, anytime you write a note with the Apple Pencil, it is in fact searchable. So I put this uh, number here, XYZ024. Let's search for this and see if I can find them. So if I go down like that, XYZ, there's the note right there. It says, this is a test, blah, 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 024. If I tap this, it's going to take me into that note. So anything you write with the Apple Pencil, the iPad is going to recognize that writing, that handwriting, and it's going to allow you to search for it and which is great because if you are taking notes for a class or if you're just taking notes overall and this is all you do you can at any time search anything that you want absolutely fantastic you're not gonna have to go through hundreds of messages uh, just to find what you wrote you can just search for it and that's pretty much all the enhancements that we do have uh, there's one more thing that is not directly related to the Apple Pencil but it can be combined with the Apple Pencil if you so desire. Again, this is going to be in the notes. Uh, let's go back here and just create a new note really quick. Uh, what you could do is you can tap this plus sign over here and you can click scan documents and then you can use the camera off the iPad to scan any document. Uh, the iPad is going to convert that into a uh, electronic document and then you can start signing that with your Apple Pencil. Now you can use your fingers also obviously but you can also use your Apple Pencil to fill the form and even sign it and then save it or send it, okay? So that's the scan a document feature, which is not bad at all. All right, guys, so these are all the things they added uh, for the iPad Pro uh, with the Apple Pencil on iOS 11. If there's anything I missed, just drop a comment down below for other people to see and make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this regarding the iOS 11 the iPad Pro, the Apple Pencil, and just about any other product out there that is a smartphone or a tablet. And of course, make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Saki Tech Online. Guys, have a fantastic day.